If anyone's wondering what goes on before the race, uh, he has a good idea. As you can see, we're really focused. We're racing this afternoon. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, drop in, bro. I bet you can't. Bro, I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah! How's the babysitter, guys? Yeah! Hey, guys! Welcome to Ireland! Red Bull Romania 2022! <laughs> it's gonna be epic. We're out here in Romania. It's gonna be a beautiful race again. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm super excited to follow you guys again. It's always a pleasure. Romaniacs is one of the best countries in the world to ride dirt bikes. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into that forest. Definitely. I'm also really excited. If you haven't seen the latest episode, man, I absolutely loved it. I, yeah. I think you as well. Aberstone. I've got, I've managed to get the mark pen off my face, but if you've not seen it already, <laughs> check it out. Definitely. It and yeah, guys, we're back. We're back and we're pretty excited. So. Have fun! Yo guys, so first of all, pretty stoked that we're gonna go back to Repo Romaniacs. I think it's gonna be a hard year again, you know, five days of racing, brutal week, you know, and you need a lot of stuff. So that's why I thought we're literally gonna pack this bag and see what we have to take because I think it's the most important race to be, I would say, prepared in a good way. Okay, time to repack. This is what we had already in the bag. Bunch of gloves. Jackets, vests, just in case you never know. And Romaniacs, because the weather can change immediately. Two helmets, probably the race helmet. Our Romani is back. Got the Led Vengers with me, so... Should be pretty cool, but one just in case if something, something will happen. Couple of helmet layers. Two boots. For sure we got two GPS. For sure this one is super important guys is the emergency kit so everything is inside there flames um, lighter uh, emergency plasters a blanket a mirror you know if something will happen that we already have the stuff with me we got two fresh usb row eight bags it's a little bit bigger than that's the most important thing camera harness for the bag just to give you the best GoPro footage and uh, gloves actually knee braces chest protector and goggles are the most important thing it's just nice to have like a fresh goggle every day so Eww. that's pretty much it what we have to put in the bag and yeah for sure the race bike and everything but I think we're gonna check it down in Romania so see you there guys Look at this, we made it to Romania. We're literally right now in the finish line area. We're gonna test the bike today, have a bunch of media stuff to do, um, and yeah, pretty excited to jump on the bike. That is sending it already. Oh! <laughs> Trying to be a freestyler now. Bike is done. Bike looks fresh, sharp. Number one, baby! We are getting ready now for the Nations Parade. Canada in the house. Canadian. Are you excited? Eh, not so much. <laughs> Man, you can't say that! <laughs> are you excited for the parade? Oh yeah, I'm excited. Ah, oh, yes! Woo! Full excitement of the European guys. Woo! Matthew's on the big girl! Guys, if so many people are joining the parade, it's insane. And here we are, the Red Bull Romaniacs City Prologue. Been missing a few years, but they're going to get to ride it this year. So hello everybody, we're here, it's the prologue. This is the all important day that kicks things off here at Red Bull Romaniacs 2022. So what's in store after that? They've got a hellish four days in the mountains, but today it's all focused here on the prologue. The tarmac is even melting on the asphalt road behind me. It's ridiculously hot and it's not gonna cool down. How's she rolling, Matt? Oh, oh hey. Hey, oh. Cool. <laughs> how's this thing rolling today? 
Bro, if I can tell you one thing, eh? If you're gonna buy a scooter, Romania's a good place to do it. Is I've it? I've got my mileage out of it already. Already, and it looks like it's a nice wide handlebar. What bars are these? Just a... Renthal triple nines. So right, triple nines. Six hundred. Oh, okay. Ready to go, eh? Give us a little roll. Give us a little roll. Oh, you've been practicing already, haven't you? Uh, and then this is the second trip. Oh. Oh, we like that one. Welcome to the Sahara Desert. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. It's pretty dusty. But it's really cool to have you here, mate. It really is. And like, on the big rally bike, you know, it's used to going wide open through the desert and all them terrains. So how, you, how do you expect the next few days are going to go for you? Just going, going in with an open mind? I hope it's not so difficult. I think the weather is quite OK. So I'm more or less lucky that this is dry. And yeah, I will. Mean, I'm trying to do my best. Uh, I know you'll do your best. Excited <laughs> for a new challenge. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it is. It's about coming, doing new challenges, testing yourself, testing your machinery. Hope you get through this one nicely and uh, good luck for the rest of the week, mate. See you later. It gets too much attention, this bike. <laughs> we, we changed a little bit the bike. Now it's more aggressive. Yeah. Less weight. So you've gotten even lighter than last year. Yeah. Better oh, wow. So this year I can be super aggressive. <laughs> There's a rally rider doing that. Manny's gate pick's looking mega at the moment. The boy that is destroying it. Tearing it up. Mega effort. Well done, Gomez. Mega job. Well done, Taddy. Well done, man. Well done. So that's the City Prologue done. Hope you guys have enjoyed that one. It was a mega racing. Alfredo Gomez took it. What a sick ride he had. And then Manny had a few problems. Taddy stomping it back with a good solid second. But four days in the mountains now, people. This is where it all counts. Ready to go, huh? It's off-road day one. I'm excited about it. The guys are definitely nervous at this point. They want a good first day under the belt. So we've got four days. This is the first one. Let's get right into it. Boys are just down there on the start line. Manny just pulling up. It's like one minute before the start. So off-road day one. It's coming at you now. Yeah, boy. Getting into second gear, letting it rip. Oh, blitzing over them rocks. Yeah, Michael, keep it smooth. We're here at Babysitter Rig. This is unreal. Manny already on his third lap. Thanks, man. Back latches then. Back latches then. Everybody's saying how hard the terrain is, but what about Manny? He's out front. He's got a clutch problem though, and that could be a big issue for the rest of the day. Please, baby, please. Let's check in with Tristan. So, yeah, stinks, doesn't it? He's just, he's just said, can you smell, smell it? It's uh, Manny's clutch. So the guys are just, uh, just checking out the clutch. Manny did a mega job in babysitter, but maybe he just pushed the clutch a little bit too hard. So they're just changing it now. So did you push the clutch a bit hard? I was just riding smooth and uh -huh. I think there was something wrong with the bike. Okay. And then afterwards I stopped, like after the psycho downhill, um, yeah. went 
like we had like lost word which was like pretty easy and i couldn't even go up there honestly you just, i was literally <laughs> just going like on a bob and went Whoa. so yeah and the clutch is so important it keeps the front end down it keeps the drive on it's you cannot manage in these hill uphills yeah. without it oh he's off oh Yeah, Mario! Well, guys, what a spectacular finish to off-road day one. Manny's had some problems. He did a mega job early on in the race, but he had a clutch problem. Had to change it out a few times on the track. But remember, there's three more off-road days, and I can't wait to see the action in the next few days. Yo, guys, update about the first day of riding. Definitely a bit bumped because yeah, I got a two hours penalty because I had to change my clutch. We're sitting in P17 right now, but we're trying our best to minimize the gaps. All right, lad. Here he is. Mr. 17th place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Going back a few years now, you've not seen them numbers for a while, have you? Oh, man. But nah, hey, man. you survived yesterday. Good job. It is what it is. Clutch out, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out, clutch in. Fair play. Graham coming in behind on his third lap. That's it, mate. That's the one. Yeah, bud. Well, everybody, he's definitely started to change the weather. Absolute misty as anything. It's not raining so hard. You can see some riders down there on a the ridge. Def don't know where the pros are now. Somewhere lost in the mist. Shepherd, must be some crazy dog somewhere. Oh, here's one, here he is. Morning, George. And now your boy, Manny's coming through. Go on, bud. Just nothing to say. <laughs> Apart from Just... you filled me in so oh, yeah. good. I was like half asleep. <laughs> Just like, oh, what? Dust couldn't see anything. Ah, I'm awake now. <laughs> well done, mate. The guys have had a wicked long day. It's been brutal. 145k, man, he just said to me at the finish line here a minute ago. Mr. Jarvis and Kabachev have had a wicked day as well. They've been strong all the time. And uh, yeah, I think everybody's gonna enjoy a nice relax tonight. Yo guys, good morning, off-road day three. We can definitely feel that we already rode two days now, but it's been good. I would say before we're gonna start the day, we're just gonna check over my bike. Um, because at a rally, we always have to take some different stuff. Got two GPS mounts right up here. One more zoomed in, one more zoomed out. You definitely want to get a little bit of food right now. So we put always some gummy bears on the bars. We got some tools. Always an air filter box, super important. Then always super important, you want to have some zip tires also on the bike. Straps. Super important, but yeah, it's time to get going now, so let's get changed. Michael on the gas yesterday. Yeah, it was quite good, but in the end I will get a little bit tired and I lost some time, but... Uh -huh. It went on and on, didn't it, after yeah. service? Yeah. Even even for me taking shortcuts, it went on and on. Yeah. Yeah. What are you checking? Trying to put the data listen. You want to know what you're in for? Yeah, they said 110, 110 yesterday, it was 140. <laughs> I want to know today. Yeah, they got they got shafted yesterday, the boys. That's for sure. All right, All right mate. How's it going? Hard. Yeah. <laughs> any any achy any achiness this morning, yeah. or just 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 feel it? Normal Romaniacs or sore. Yeah. Normal Romaniacs, but you can feel that. Huh? Like, yeah. It's always when we come back to Romania, and I'm like, holy shit, it's difficult. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Off road day three. We've tipped over the halfway point. It's going to be a long day. We've got to get all the way back to Sibiu. Your man, Manny Lettenbickler, is going to be going out first because he had a stomper yesterday. And then it's going to be Graham Jarvis and Kabachev. 
Let's see what this day holds. Back Jeff on a mission straight in. Matthias Walkner on the pipe. Look at that big girl bouncing around. Mega steep section now here. Here's Manny coming. Nice, well done, kid. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy. All right, boy. All right, mate. So we're here at the finish, off-road day three. Everybody's had a hard day in all classes and it's all to play for for tomorrow, day four. Who's gonna get on that podium tomorrow? Let's see. It's gonna be another hard day. Yo guys, we're looking for the man himself, Graham, the King Chavez. We rode a little bit together about today. Wow, it's like old time driving. Yeah, it was like last year, huh? I absolutely yeah. loved it. Yeah, <laughs> nice to ride with you again. Oh man, it was pretty cool. Only one more day. I uh, pretty confident. Yeah, I mean, gonna get the crown back. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm tired. I felt good today, like a bit of energy. So that's good. Man, I need the food. Maybe I should also yeah. grab a, a plate of pasta. <laughs> Cheers. Day number four, baby. So last day. Here at the Rebel Romaniacs. I think everyone is pretty stoked that it's probably the last day. Are you guys stoked about Super that it's stoked. only the last no, day? We <laughs> want to arrive to Gusterita and open the throttle. <laughs> so definitely everyone is like pretty hyped up. Gonna give it a last push. Me and me and Matt, we're gonna have a big battle because he's 10 minutes behind me. And hey bro, are you nervous about our battle? No, <laughs> you should be nervous. <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't know, bro. After three days of racing, yeah. there's only ten minutes in it, eh? So. Yeah, but I've been two hours behind you. Doesn't look like it on the <laughs> results, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody knows that. Whoa! This is so steep. And this section, after all them days and all them kilometers riding in the Carpathians. <laughs> because the live's not ready yet, the guys are here at the GoPro change. Normally they'd only have five minutes, but they've got an hour. And I think you're going to enjoy this hour, Bre, rest, eh? Yeah, or would you I'm soon? Siesta. <laughs> I'm the cook here. The chef in. Uh, service point cook. The... Host, hostess with the mostest. Yeah. King of the Carpathians. <laughs> Carpathian goat. Oh, cheers, man. Did you hear me screaming? Yeah, yesterday? I did. <laughs> I felt such a king. I was like, oh, man, I'm going straight up there. Oh, fuck. So Michael Walton just arrived. He's uh, had a foot problem this morning. Yeah, in one fast section, I hit one stone in the, with the back wheel, and the, the bike slided like this, and I put it down the foot, and then yeah, it twisted like around. Yeah. Well, hopefully, see you at the finish, mate. Keep it rolling. Welcome to the Wolf's Nest, everybody. Check this place out. Manny's coming in. Let's get involved. Next rider in, Graham Jarvis, just had a big rest. Definitely gonna help him. So that's it everybody, Red Bull Romaniacs 2022 is done and dusted, 
It was the Carpathian legend himself, Graham Jarvis, taking the win. He's had a phenomenal week. So proud of you. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> I can't believe it. Though. You did it. It don't make sense, does it? It don't make sense. No, you, oh, no, you don't make sense. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Why do I still do it? You I must just... love how hard it is and then the feeling of that success, yeah, eh? Yeah, well, this kind of race, the feeling getting to the finish. Yeah. You know, Good, isn't it? Yeah. That's why we do it. It is. Well done, mate. Pain. Well done. Cheers. Winner. We've got Billy behind us. He's here doing some interviewing. Look at this guy. Let's have a chat with Billy while that, that big dog's behind us. Uh, Paul. What's the secret with that big, the old man? Being 832 years old, I think, is what you need. Just, <laughs> it's good. That means I've got time. I've got a long career ahead of us. If he's anything to go by, I've yeah. got at least another 30, 40 years at the top. <laughs> the Mr. King of Reparo Maniacs. <laughs> heads off! Take your heads off! Yeah, bounce right the on, <laughs> yeah. That for an old codger. Unreal week at Red Bull Romaniacs. We've had a mix of weather at the beginning. This guy's had a bit of an issue, but it's nothing that he just cracked on, got on with the job, and took it home. How was it, man? Man, it was such a crazy week, you know, like with this new penalty at the beginning with bike issues. But we tried everything to come back from 17 up to 6. Heads off to the man himself. Mr. Jarvis. Mr. Jarvis, you nailed it. Seven time winner at Rebel Romanix. Guys, if you want to see all the action of Rebel Romanix, just go on Rebel TV and we're going to see us in. US, huh? Yeah, let's go. Bye, let's guys! Go.